Now, previous two videos have been giving you the latest developments that uh, we saw during the live earnings calls that only surfaced the streets of social media just uh, recently after the Q1 earnings, right? And uh, the first video we're talking about the factory that is coming in September. The second video, which was the previous video, we were talking about the gross margins in terms of where do NEO see their gross margins uh, going to in Q4 and what is the base that will make NEO or what kind of gross margins can make or will make NEO to get to profitability. We have discussed that in the previous video. Now, on this video, I want to talk more about the sub-brand Onvo, what NEO revealed during, obviously, the Q2, Q1 lives earning call. And that is the first thing a single screen noticed that they, they highlighted something very important. And that is NEO and Onvo sales outlets will remain independent, but their middle and back end system will be integrated. Overall direction is for NEO and Onvo brands to increase collaboration rather than to match. So by this statement, NEO is coming to clarify because some of the people thought that uh, Onvo, whatever they are doing together, they are merging the two brands. And NEO during the Q1 lives ending call, they said they are not going to merge with, with Onvo. NEO won't merge with Onvo, but they will do a lot of collaborations, right? They, they will continue collaborating together on some of the aspects which makes or which should show people that obviously that the two brands are one which is why they've got a lot of collaboration now something very important that we got to read about onvo is that onvo in the near future it will be utilizing also neos in-house developed autonomous driving chip which is something that is great because if now uh, Onvo is going to use this uh, chip made by NEO. It simply means that same with the uh, NEO main brands that are saving like uh, 1380 onto the autonomous driving chip they are using onto those models. It means that uh, Onvo will have also some huge savings that they get because they are utilizing or using, of course, the in-house developed chip by, chips by NEO which could take the gross margin of also on going to 20%, which is just going to be so great. NEO, it's in the business of uh, making their company to be more efficient and with more efficiency and profitability. It means that a lot of stuff, they must start building them in-house. Chips that Onvo is using are coming from NVIDIA. That is something that we have already been told or that NEO has already confirmed. And it simply means that with the chips going to come from NEO, it will make NEO to save the cost that they are paying to NVIDIA for the autonomous driving chips. So it is something that is good. It is something that is great. But also then the, during the life sending call, the NEO CEO also revealed that the fact that a signal screen in NEO has got uh, NEO's on Vosa brand has got 440 stores. And the total battery swapping stations that Onvo users can go and complete a battery swapping onto Onvo are around 1,900. So it is almost 2,000 battery swapping stations that the Onvo users can now go and also do the battery swapping, which is something that is just so, so amazing, so great. I mean, one of the things that we've been seeing coming from from Onvo is that uh, there has been people that are buying Onvo and uh, for the fact that, of course, they, it also has got battery swapping capabilities. Battery swapping remains that thing that drives people into coming and wanting to buy NEO. Now, something very important that I'm also forgetting to mention about Onvo deliveries, which the NEO CEO said, is that he believes that uh, Onvo is headed in the direction where they will start to sell 10,000 cars on a monthly basis by just this l60 right l60 is heading towards that direction and who knows a month this month or next month we could see deliveries for onvo getting to 10,000, which will be so great so amazing if onvo l60 can get 10,000, this simply means that the l90 l80 can come with the rest of the 15,000 that will make onvo to end up delivering 25,000 on a monthly basis so i am happy I am excited. Something that you must also remember about Onvo is that 
in terms of uh, how much their costs will be even the ones that they are going to launch the l90 l80 supposed to be 200 and to 300,000 RMB which I think the L90 will start closer to 300,000 because that is the large SUV that you will ever buy or that you can get under the Onvosa brand whilst the L80 it might come between uh, 202 and 300 to cater also those that like uh, uh, that kind of an SUV there will be a difference between of course the Onvo L60 and the L80 right the, I mean there is a video where we spoke about the sugar design or there are videos that were trending last year about the sugar design of what might look like the Onvo L80 but with that car or that model has not been revealed yet but I can tell you now it's underway it's coming and it's going to take the EV market by storm so I am very happy, I am super excited and this is what of course the Neo CEO said about when he was talking about Onvo, when he was discussing what we are to expect coming from Onvo and this is great stuff, these are great news and the, this just simply means that we need to brace ourselves for what's coming because uh, Blue Sky will come, long term will win. I mean as I'm doing this video someone sends me that yesterday Macquarie came and cut the price target onto New York saying that of course the losses are unabated meaning that they are not coming down which the CEO made it clear before even this Q1 earnings were published to say that from Q2 things should become better I mean I mean already there is a CBU system that is being uh, uh, that is being utilized onto New York to try to cut down the cost to New York slashed 40% of uh, Onvo staff but even with the 40% slash they were able to get more deliveries which speaks volumes about how efficient Neo is becoming reducing staff but making sure that the orders also increase this is something that is just so great something that is really really exciting and it makes me to want to load uh, the boat so yeah man I am excited I am happy Blue Sky is coming long term will win these are the co this is the content that I told you that it is important for the investors to know uh, where Neo is at and the roadmap because you will know that we spoke about the factory number three that it's coming and what it will look like or uh, in terms of production what Neo is planning which is very important to the investors we also spoke about the gross margins that will uh, that Neo needs to get to the minimum gross margins needed for Neo to reach break even in Q four and we have also discussed right now the development around Onvo as to what is the relationship between Onvo and Neo and also the chips when it comes to autonomous driving what is Neo's plans with the be since we know that they are utilizing uh, Nvidia uh, autonomous driving chips we discuss all this on this video and this wraps up I think completely the Q1 earnings live call which this information was not there but now we see it being revealed which is just so crazy so amazing and obviously it makes me want to load the boat like this video subscribe hit the notification bell so that you get to be notified every time i drop a new content because on this channel you know it's a stock that i talk a lot about because i believe in their fundamentals i believe in their future where they are headed and those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time like share subscribe i'll see you on the next one that's all from me and god bless you all